property taxes. They pay for a large portion of your local government. In Ramsey County, they play a vital role, funding important services we use and rely on, including parks, libraries, social services, public safety and health, roads, and recycling, to name a few. But understanding your property taxes can sometimes be, well, confusing. To help you better understand property taxes, we'll explain the three statements you receive through mail or email, walk through the timeline, and discuss ways for you to ask questions and get involved. But first, let's start with a brief overview of how property taxes are determined. When the county establishes the budget for the upcoming year, they set a property tax levy. A levy is the total amount generated from all property tax collections. The property tax levy is a portion of the overall county budget. A share of the levy is paid by every property in Ramsey County. Your part is the amount you see on your property tax statement. A significant factor that determines your property taxes is the value of your property. The county assessor is responsible for appraising the values of all properties in the county. To do this, professional appraisers review a number of factors, including the property classification. For example, is it a home or business? Also, the market activity from the previous year and the property's condition and any major improvements made to it. Another factor that impacts your property taxes are tax shifts. It is important to recognize that changes in market value do not change the overall amount of property taxes being paid. Only a change in the levy will do that. Instead, changes in market value will change how much a given property pays based on its share of the overall tax pie. A simple example here would be if there were a lot of new businesses built and opened in a particular year. It could shift some of the taxes from residential property to those businesses. Did your property value go up but your taxes went down? Or maybe the opposite happened? Shifts can have a lot to do with these situations. You'll be notified about your property taxes and value in three steps. The valuation notice, the proposed property tax notice, and the property tax statement. Each step plays an important role in understanding your taxes due for the year and provides you an opportunity to voice any questions or concerns you may have. You'll receive the valuation notice in March. It shows the estimated market value of your property and the classification or use of the property, which are used to determine your taxes for the upcoming year. Then, in November, you'll receive the proposed property tax notice. This is an estimate of the taxes due in the coming year, which is based on the budget and tax levies determined by the county, cities, school districts, and other taxing authorities where you live. The following March, you'll receive the property tax statement for the current year. This document shows the actual taxes owed. The taxes may include special assessments, which are direct charges to your property for things like recycling or street maintenance. The amount is split into two payments, which are due in May and October for most properties. For roughly half of property owners, taxes are paid through their mortgage company, and they don't need to worry about paying taxes directly. It'll say on your notice. The property tax statement arrives at the same time as the valuation notice that begins the process for next year's taxes. Throughout the property tax process, there are multiple ways to let your voice be heard as a resident of Ramsey County. When you receive the valuation notice, you should contact the assessor's office if you have any questions or want to appeal the estimated property value or classification. If you feel there is a discrepancy, please follow the directions on the notice and contact us. It's important to carefully review your valuation notice and ask questions or make an appeal during this time because by the time the proposed property tax notice is received in November, the only way to appeal is in tax court. Another way to make your voice heard is during the budget process. The proposed Ramsey County budget is typically presented to the Board of Commissioners in August and is followed by two public hearings where you can learn about the budget and share your feedback. The main budget and property tax public hearings for the county, cities, and other taxing authorities are held in November and December. You'll find the details for these meetings on the proposed property tax notice. 
In your notices, you will also find information on programs that might help you reduce your property taxes. Every year, many property owners qualify for property tax refunds and other special programs available through the state of Minnesota. These include homestead programs for veterans and seniors. We know property taxes can be complicated, but we want you to know that we are here to serve you. Please contact us anytime throughout the year when you have a question or concern, and we'll be more than happy to help.